Check that out. This belt was doomed. <laughs> Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Garage Gear, I'm JB. Today I'm doing some preventative maintenance on my Aaron's Deluxe 28 snowblower. It's time to replace some belts. Now I checked the belts underneath that cover at the end of last season. I noticed that one of the belts last season had a very fine crack in it. But over the last couple days, we got blasted with about a good foot and a half to two feet of snow. And the plows came by again. Ugh. And it's been about a good three, four years since I've replaced the belts on this thing. New belts are tighter and if tensioned properly, they can add some throwing distance too. Let's get started. For all safety purposes, we're gonna unplug the spark plug. Then we're gonna remove the belt cover. I'm gonna use my 3-8 socket. There we go, and those bolts just hang there, that's nice. Same thing on the other side. And let's take this cover off. There we go. And they don't look too bad at first glance. This is what I'm talking about right here. You see that? That is a weak belt. Looks like we even got some little hairline cracks down here too. Next, we're gonna remove this belt guide. Use a half inch socket. There's one. And two. There we go, and off it comes. Then we're gonna go up top and we're gonna remove this cover. Just like that, and off it comes. Now we're gonna take this pin out, and out it comes. Now this is my chute rotation arm. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pull this back, then push it forward. Now here is my auger cable, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little nut right here and I'm gonna loosen it up. There we go, loosen that right up. Now this chute cable needs to be disconnected. I'm gonna loosen up this P-clamp here first, and pop out the cable. Then I'm gonna follow it up to here where this pin is holding it on. I'm gonna take this pin out and this little washer and slide the cable off. I'm then going to loosen up these nuts here, pop off the top and slide this cable right out. Just like that. Now we're kind of at this point here where we gotta take these two bolts out on this side and on the other and split this machine in half. I also put my stool back here so that way these handlebars have something to fall back on. Now I'm gonna loosen these two bolts on this side. And these are half inch. Set it aside. Same thing with the other one. Set it aside. Same thing over here on this side. And this is probably where the unit's gonna wanna split on me. Yep, there it goes. This whole unit is also hooked down here below, so that's what's also keeping this thing together. So right now, the belts are kind of holding this whole thing together, and once I take these off, this thing's probably gonna wanna fall on its face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly take these off. Now I can also pull back on the handle back here, and it'll spin the pulley for me, and it'll help me remove these belts. Pull on it, give it a little spin, and off it comes. There you go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up on this unit and tip the face down. Just like that. I'm gonna take off my old belts and set them aside. So this belt's kind of jammed up in there because there's these little bolt notches that stick out here, 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 and here. So this one, you're gonna have to kind of pull it up and then twist and then off it comes. So now after some closer inspection, check that out. This belt was doomed. <laughs> <laughs> Another spot too. And it's got lots of little hairline cracks all along it, so this thing was definitely due for a replacement. I'll tell you what guys, I'm glad I did this. I'd rather fix this now than deal with it in the middle of a snowstorm. Our society now is so reactive rather than proactive. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna clean up all this dust and debris here. This is all from the belts that kind of wears off and gets stuck onto the metal. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna spray it with some WD-40. And I'm gonna be careful. I don't wanna get this on the pulley wheel itself. I just wanna wipe around it and remove any of the gunk that's on the metal. See, look at that. I'm gonna take a dry towel now and just kind of wipe around. Good. That way there's no residue. As long as I got most of that off, that's good. So now I got my new belts here. I'm gonna put them around the pulleys and then I'm gonna to attempt to put this all back together in one shot. We'll see how that works out. So now I'm gonna hold on to my belts. I'm gonna tip this baby back. Let's see if we can do this in one shot. There we go. Now this right here is my tensioner pulley and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 9 16 wrench and I'm going to loosen it up and then from here, slide it back. I'm gonna give it some room. Now this is pretty much at its easiest setting so it's not gonna apply much tension but when I get to it and it's time to set the tension, I'm gonna put it at about one third. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these belts off to the side, push back on this handle over here, tip it back 
and then finger tighten one of these bolts into the side. And I'm gonna finger tighten a bolt in on this side. So now the trick here is always getting these belts back over the pulley. So what we can do is a couple things. Number one, we could try to slide the back one over. That one goes on just fine. And part of the reason they're going on so nicely right now is because of this tensioner being loose and then the top one, boom. Now if that does become an issue, you can pull the recoil back here, that'll spin it and then you could work it on with your hand. So now this whole unit is back where it has to be. The belts are in line. What I'm gonna do is tighten these two bolts down. Same thing, I'm gonna pop in the second bolt on this one. Great, belts are on, now what? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tensioner and I'm gonna set it at about one third of the way in. Now with new belts, that's typically where I'll put it. If it's too loose and I'm not throwing snow far enough, what I'll do is I'll open it back up, loosen the tensioner and push it a little further forward, maybe to halfway. There we go, tensioner spins. So now I'm gonna come back here to my auger cable and I'm gonna twist this in a little bit, create a little bit of tension, and then thread on that nut, get it tight. And then from here, I'm just gonna grab on with some pliers and then my wrench, tighten it down. And that'll do. So now everything seems to be going on just fine. So I'm gonna take my belt guide, I'm gonna stick that back on right over my belts. Thread that in, there's one, and there's two. Now I'm gonna take my impact driver and send them in. Here we go, we look good. Now I'm gonna take my chute cable here and I'm gonna wrap that back into the P-hook. I'm gonna clamp that back down a little bit. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed this thin, thin part of the cable through this eyelet right here, push up, and then put the hook of the cable over this bar. I'm then gonna take this washer, feed that back over, and then stick in my pin. Now that cable's not coming off. Then what I'm gonna do here is take my nut and tighten it down. Wrench that on tight, take your rubber cap, slide it down. Then I'm gonna take my control arm for my chute. I'm gonna feed that back through here. Then I'm gonna take this part of the arm and feed it through this way. I'm gonna line up the holes here and then I'm gonna stick in this pin. And in she goes, rotates like a charm. Look at that, works great. Then we're gonna pop our cover back on the top, screw it down. All set there. Everything looks good here now, so we're gonna take this belt cover, we're gonna pop this back on. Good. Now we're gonna drive in the bolts. Done. And reconnect your spark plug. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's how I change the belts on my Aaron snowblower. For more cool snowblower and modification videos, check down below in the description. Also, down in the comments below, let me know the last time you changed your belts on your snowblower. If you found this video helpful, give me one of these. Be sure to check me out at Garage Gear JB on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage. Thank <laughs> you.